everybody! Hey. Welcome back to Tea with Phil and Jen. And today we're gonna sip some tea while we talk about tea and music. One of my favorite topics. Right, right. So what kind of tea do you want? Well, we just had a giant brunch, so I'm thinking maybe a shampooar. Help me get my tummy settled. Sounds good, sounds good. I want something actually more aged. You so want an aged? Let's, let's go. stick for something. Let's aged. find something. We'll be right back. So what did we end up picking? Yeah, I choose some tea that I haven't had for a long time. It's actually a uh, Shenpuar from 2004 from Yiwu era. Nice, that's gonna be good. I hope I can put a picture somewhere on the screen. Yeah, that's gonna be delicious. So we wanted to talk today about tea and music and the inspiration for this was we were just down in New York City for the Coffee and Tea Festival in New York in Brooklyn. Beautiful time, lovely weather, sunny, bright, lots of great folks came out. So great to see people in person. But one of the nights we actually ended up, not surprisingly, sipping tea with some of our close friends. And at one point in the night, I couldn't help but be completely absorbed by the music that was playing in the background. Yes. Right? It was so familiar. Uh, and it was actually a, a, a song that I knew, but played by a different artist. But it struck us, both of us got to talking about it, and the whole conversation shifted to music shortly after I pointed yeah. that out. Yeah. And it made us realize, like, tea and music is not something certainly unique to us. And many people actually just uh, have some music, uh, sip some tea, especially yeah. have the, that kind of a friend get together. That's moment. right. Yeah, when either you're with a bunch of friends and you've just got some music on in the background, even myself, sometimes when I'm alone, I'll put on some music as well. Yeah. And so we thought, let's do a let's do a video about that. We've talked a little bit about it in our in our blog, and uh, also Luann from the the Cup of Life inspired me to kind of make my own yes. list because she originally shared a great uh, a great tea and music playlist that you can see on Spotify. I think we're going to put the link down below. Yes, yeah, so we'll put all the stuff that yeah. we have down below. And if you have any specific list you uh, listen to while you enjoy tea, feel free to share with us. Yeah, for sure. Or yeah. any favorite songs or anything like that. Um, it's just a really, it's a great topic close to my heart. I've played music for a long time. Uh, it's been a lifelong passion of mine. And I just really enjoy like chilling out with tea and music. Something really fun. Right. Do we have any like specific teas and music we love? Well, we did. Uh, one thing I did do, again, inspired by Luam, was I put together a playlist because uh, right, right. a friend of mine asked me, hey, get some tunes put together so when we have tea tonight, we can play it in the background. So I, and that, that link will be down below too. So I made quite different than, uh, than the other playlist, a little bit more funky. I like to listen to funk when I'm with friends and enjoying tea, but I threw in all kinds of stuff. I really wanted to capture sort of the, uh, the diversity of, of my musical interest but as a reflection of the diversity of tea as well, you know, there's some funk, there's some classical, there's I some... I like Wolfpack. Yeah, there's some Wolfpack in there, but there's... Especially the Dean Town. I think the list is start with Dean Town. It starts it's with really Dean Town. Yeah, it starts with song. Dean Town and it follows up with a, a little bit more obscure, but a weather report song, but really similar vibe. And I did that on purpose, just because it's kind of fun to notice the uh, similarities. But I even put some heavy metal on it, which threw people off. Because mm. tea is really diverse, and so is music. And I think it was Frank Zappa who said, you know, the best, uh, what's your favorite kind of music? When asked that, he said, good music. I'm the same. I just like good music. Hmm, this is a good tea, too. It's a little bit light. I think I brewed that a little bit light. Mm -hmm. The leaves were so loose and bulky, so I couldn't fit too much through the pot. But once it brews, it becomes really... Um, not too much, so I need to let this sit a little bit more, and um, I like this tea a lot, actually. I love the uh, pour from Yi Wu, it's softer, it's more romantic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It it's has, my type of tea. <laughs> yeah, and it has that um, settling the tummy nature, but with uh, much less bite. Yeah. yeah, this is from 2004, for, so 14 years, and um, mm. let me just wipe the bottle. So it's not as red or stuff as you've seen. This is a purely um, north storage, pretty dry storage. Mm -hmm. But it's really bright and clear. I like the most feel of it. Really nice. Yeah, speaking of rock, I have to say I really love uh, metal 
raw when I'm enjoying some uh, I call it heavy tea not because it's really heavy like a creamy that kind of heavy is because uh, the uh, the very um, how should I say that really bold flavor profile like rock yeah. teas or okay. shampoo or even shampoo right like a stronger you know, one maybe yeah like the than young one. ones I really yeah. like those and I uh, <laughs> hair metal I really like it. Yeah, Very I was so surprised when uh, when we were listening to uh, we were actually at a studio, so it was a live band playing, and suddenly, and it was a a sort of I wouldn't call it hair metal, but a really classic Iron Maiden. It was an Iron mm -hmm. Maiden song, mm -hmm. if you can imagine that. I and really she love says, that. "Oh my God, I love this song." And, because uh, in the history, I love those Chinese songs, you know, by Ethan Chen and. Uh, <laughs> so not related, but it's, that's okay. It's, yes, it's really like a romantic and stuff. But for me, it's a. I, I just love the tune, yeah. and for me, uh, part of music is the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Is that a good lyric, uh, lyrics write up? It's very important to me, but a lot of times it's. I don't know why I like them, but when I heard their song, I was like, oh, I really enjoy that. Yeah. I love that kind of feeling, you know? Really strong melody and an anthemic, powerful, like, That's right. victorious They still have melody. Feeling. I think melody is something a really important to me. Very powerful melody with really nice harmony, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's the color. It's, nice. It's a little bit darker right now. Getting orange when I steep that more properly. Mm. Yeah, the first one was a little bit light. But I, you know what? I really enjoy playing uh, games, sipping uh, some uh, really full flavored teas, and uh, listening to metal like playing Call of Duty. I really feel like that's oh such a good moment. <laughs> it's not so zen, but I just love it. Especially the Call of Duty part. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> And on the opposite side, sometimes when I'm alone, I often I don't put music on at all when I'm alone. But sometimes I'll put on those ultra zen, just not even music. Sometimes I'll just play nature sounds or really those uh, like yoga music. So it really uh, it's a really wide range from funk to metal to you know birds chirping and a stream, a babbling brook in the background. Yes, yes. I do that with just the natural sound because we use the tea table with uh, the uh, the plumbing, the plumbing's the, all yeah the plumbing system. Sometimes you will hear that as if it's a fountain, but it's not. But it works like that way. And every now and then, I have a squirrel uh, kind of a run across the lawn, and I love watching those, especially when the yeah. spring, yeah, when the spring oh. seems to be coming, and every now and then it's you coming. See it's bird. really coming. <laughs> Oh. You know how we tell because the snow is different. It's not because of anything because yeah, we snow still have snow are heavier. Are yes, yes, yeah, it's, it's not like salt. heavier. It's still <laughs> we're still buried up here. It's just uh, it's literally we're, we're spring optimistic. Side. It's coming. Spring is coming. Yes. <sighs> yeah, but, that's really nice after breakfast. Right. Mm. We had so much. Mm, I like this infusion. Mm -hmm. It starts to have a little bit like a smoky, but mm -hmm. not too much. Yes. A little bit smoky, but really the whole mouthfeel is soft and really rich and round, like complex. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not as strong to you kind of get, already get rid of that young, really sharp really you know it has that on. character of good tea that make us so hard to describe it's it starts to lose specific tasting notes become really I don't want to say foggy but they become integrated and intertwined and it's hard to say do I taste straw or do I no you just start to taste a really great tea the mouthfeel is thick and round I really uh I the lid know. smells like ink now. <laughs> you know those old style, mm. the, the mm. ink? Yeah, really weird. A little bit stinky? Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, I really don't like writing about teas like this. It's so hard. Yeah. Why I'm wearing a sweater? I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing out today. But when you come in and have warm tea, it can just make yeah. everything better. I forgot to get changed. So yeah. 
And I don't know when I'm listening to music, like you, like you noticed, it, like it's really hard to predict, like the old style or the more normal songs I'm listening to are more like a. I think you would call that cheesy. <laughs> it's, a, it's not so like a technical. It's not very yeah. like inspiring as a musician. But it's just a, like a, how I like perfume. Sometimes those memories, the the melodies and the smell, it kind of yeah. lock down a memory, a time of your life that oh we were there doing something yes. else, or I was, you know that's why I like some specific songs and uh, or the lyrics really rings with a part of um, uh, right, my emotion. Yes, yeah. resonates with my emotional part or some stuff that I. Yeah, yeah I, I don't feel like a shame that I listen to those kind of music. I think it's just what makes me feel enjoyable. That's right. right. That's what music's really all about, right? Exactly. And it's similar to tea, right? It doesn't really matter if you have all the perfect words to describe the tea and and all the language and understand the all the details of the process. Really what it's about is enjoying the sip and how it triggers your memory and the same kind of emotional yeah, yeah. trigger there. because we notice uh, when we um, mm -hmm. like when we talk to people and I often like to ask people what do you taste like uh, what are the stuff in your mind what's happening in your yeah. mouth what's right? the experience I don't, when you sip this exactly. tea exactly I don't like to tell you that oh this is this tea you are supposed to taste this and this and that because uh, I feel like different people have different abilities Absolutely. or mm -hmm. Or different ways to describe even the same thing. So I was like, I don't want people to just feel like I'm supposed to taste something. But at the same right. time, I found it's sometimes it's a tricky. You know, some people are a little bit shy. They feel yeah. like I don't know much about tea, yeah. not to mention describe That's right. tea. That's right. So they were like uh, really quiet. Yeah, just not used to sharing yes. that the thing that happens in them, but not used to expressing that in words. And it and it is tricky, but. Yes, yeah, but I, I, I like how, how I like music. I tell people it's okay that you taste something that's totally different than I taste, or you don't even like the tea I like. Like, yeah. try to, it's more in, the good starting point is start paying attention to what's happening in you. Like, what do you taste to experience something internal rather than yeah. It, yeah. trying to force myself it, it to get closer sort of cheesy, to but your stuff. You kind of get in tune with your feelings right, vis-a-vis right, the right. tea and what's happening in your mouth and your brain and your whole and it's benefits. emotional experience. Right, and right. it benefits in the long term. Maybe at this time you were like, okay, I'm not seeing too much happening, but it's just a consistent practice in that kind of thing gets mm. you closer to a better taster with tea or with any other kind of mm -hmm. stuff, wine, whiskey, fine food, I think they're all related. Just tuning in really. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And how you describe that, it doesn't have to be how, like how we describe yeah, that. Yeah, like, it doesn't have to be a, a certified sommelier description. It can just be yes, using yes. whatever works for you, colors, sounds, mm. I anything. like to describe like a tea, like a, like how I describe a person, you know, right. personality. Yeah. Different people, it's not just they look different, they have different personalities, you know, and especially when I'm tasting, say, Tian Shui Xian or Tian Tie Guan Yin, they have lots of similarities. The difference is not like this one has blueberry nose, that yeah, one yeah. has it's apple subtle. nose. It's subtle. It's more of a, about, a, you know, some aroma is brighter, it's more cheerful. Like that's how or I. Or it might feel more sturdy. Exactly. You know, things like that. And that's how I taste teas, and that's why our website is fully relying on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just uh, contribute a few words. He's more good at uh, describing that. And I get to write about complex teas like this one. <laughs> yes, because if you read my description, you were like, uh, what does that tea taste like? Mm. And I was like, taste a shen pu, then you add a character to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys know, but shampoo is really great after a big meal, I have to say. You have that really stuffed tummy feeling, that really full stomach, and it's it's nice to be full, but it's also a little bit sometimes discomforting. And shampoo is the antidote for sure. Mm. Mm. I love how soft the texture is. 
yeah, it's remarkable for a, a Shemhuar. And a little bit tart. I found it a little mm -hmm, bit tart. Mm -hmm, definitely. Somewhere. Mm. Nice. Yeah, so I think um, talking about tea and music is a really good, uh, there's a real link there that can help people who are enjoying tea just kind of right, relax right. a little bit mm -hmm, and just mm -hmm. kind of loosen up and enjoy the tea and don't worry too much if you know everything about oh, all those complicated words or the flavor wheel and all that right, jazz, right. you know. Oh, a little music metaphor there. <laughs> just have fun, enjoy the tea. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we have been sharing the music list on social media and That's we'll right, definitely yeah. put the link down below. Feel free to listen to it and if you have any music lists you love... And Make us your own list and share that. I'd exactly. love to see what you guys exactly. are listening to. If it's just a song, throw the song title yeah. there. I'll check Even it out. Even like um, song and tea pairs, specific songs, yeah, specific, do you have something like that? Definitely, that would be fun. Yeah, just Feel free to comment below and if you like the uh, video today, give it a thumb up and subscribe, share with your friends. We'll keep sipping some more tea. Yeah, until next time. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. I always have those weird little things.